What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the Bianconeri Zone on this Friday, uh, the day before we play uh, Verona in the Serie A, uh, another relegation side, that's three in the last month, and actually this was the easiest month basically, besides Inter, uh, it won't get easier after this month, you know, because you play three relegation side, you're not going to do that again, so if it's now bad, just imagine how bad it will get. However, I came across a stat and I was looking for it and I still couldn't believe what I found. It was so, it's actually unbelievable, so unbelievable that I needed to check it on three different websites because I couldn't believe it. I actually texted Julian, maybe he knows, and uh, he couldn't believe it as well because it's, um, Actually, if you see how we play, you will believe it. But still, if you compare it to Verona, you will be absolutely shell-shocked. But that's what we're going to talk about. Uh, before I jump into it, like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification, and uh, let's go into uh, another relegation side preview. Okay, so we play uh, Verona. We play Verona tomorrow. Six o'clock, uh, like I said, another relegation side. They are sitting uh, 18. So they're going down as of now as we speak. Also, they have a game more, like they played a game more than Sassuolo, who are just one point above them as well. Um, that's the reality. They are a very, very poor side, Verona. And I said that about Udinese. I said that about... Um, about Empoli and I mean it they are a relegation side you know they are a team you should not be fearing you know if you look at their like they they lost a city to Napoli who was the top scorer with six goals you know that comes also with it if you look at their uh, side if you look at their starting 11 with all due respect and I I went over it and I was like Lazovic, Duda, Cabal, and I'm not sure what the other guys are. That's just what it is. Like, nobody is looking at the Verona side and is going to pick them apart if they go down. Or, you know, you have a side that's going down, but they still have a good player you'll be looking at. They don't, you know. Um, that's them compared to the other teams in the league. If you look at the long balls, you can see why they are a relegation side. They are that type of side. They are. They don't have quality in that team at all. You know, they just uh, hoof that ball up. Uh, if you watch a couple of Verona games, and to be honest, I watch Verona games, but against a better team, so maybe it's not a fair reflection. But if you look at this, man, like shots, goal, like, <laughs> like I mean, it's it's down spot down the center. It's down the middle. Like, it, it couldn't be any worse, basically, than this. And actually, let me check, because I wrote it down. They scored... Oop, no, that's not right. They scored 21 goals. Um, yeah, man. I, like, I don't I don't even know how to put that in words, how bad they are. Uh, and if you compare it to, to Juve, uh, here we go. You know, it's... Like, the difference is clear, and this is one of the, the toughest previews I need to do because I'm not sure how to go about it because I had the same thing about Udinese. I had the same thing about Empoli, and we dropped points, and we lost... And this is kind of the same team, maybe potentially a bit worse than uh, the other teams. I do think the other teams obviously have more quality, uh, but this is a very poor side. They're down there for a very good reason. Again, same like Udinese, same like Empoli. They're down there for a very good reason. So there's no room for me to make excuses. Before I go into the weird stat, let me just look at, you know, on the season, uh, 24 Games played, 4-1, 7 drew, 13 else. At home, they pick up one point a game. Away from home, yeah, you can discard that at all uh, because they barely pick up a point a game. Um, they won four games, as you can see, three of them at home. Um, they're a bad team away from home, but still, like 11 games played at home, you won three, you're a bad side. You know, you're a bad side. Um, and... This needs to be a very this needs to be a very easy game. It should be. It should be. Um, if you look at home, 
like I said, like the win percentage, like everything is screams relegation side. Everything screams you're going down to Serie B unless there's a team above you who's slightly worse than you. And that could potentially be because Empoli was one of them. Sassuolo is a bad team. Udinese is not a good team. Like it can still happen. However, those stats scream mediocrity from top to bottom. You know? And let's get correct. Excuse me, people. If you look at this one, non-penalties XG. So obviously we're top. Like we don't give up a lot. They're 15. Like they give up two uh, expected goals. They, they almost give up two goals, expected goals a game. You know, um, they, they're, they're not a team you're just going to carve open consistently because they play a very boring uh, in rush industrial, excuse me, uh, quote-unquote solid type of football, but they don't have quality. A team that's second in the league should just carve them open, walk away with an easy win, and keep it rolling. That's what should be happening. Not saying it's going to happen, but that's what should be happening. Now, going to the stats I found, and I actually couldn't believe, because this game, this game is not about Verona. This game is about Juve. This game is about, are you going to show some backbone, and are you going to do what you're supposed to do, and just go into Verona and make it look very easy from kickoff to minute 90. Total domination. That's what you expect to do. That's what I expect from Allegri. That's what I expect from the team to do against a relegation side. Home or away, that's what I'm expecting. You can have off days. Fine, I get that. But we have had too many of them all season long, all three years long against these type of teams where we come out of those games and we're like... Not sure how we won that game, but we keep it moving. And that's not okay. That's not fine. That's not going to get us anywhere down the line. But the stats I wanted to show you, the first one is the forward passes, not including the final third, because we will be absolutely bossing that probably. I didn't check, but yeah. 15 in the league, man. You know, the, the, the crazy part is Verona. Obviously, they're third in the league. We're 15th in the league. And you can say our midfield is poor. They don't have enough quality to play certain passes and what. Look up Verona's midfield. Come back to me if you rate any of those midfielders or if you ever heard of any of those midfielders. I cannot pronounce the Verona midfielders' names. I'm not going to lie. But we're 15. And when I look at our lineup, I'm like... It kind of makes sense, you know. Uh, Rabiot, McKennie, they are technically, like passing-wise, the most boring players you will come across. Uh, they are the most, I'm going to keep it safe players, no matter what the situation is. Against Udinese, chasing in games, still needing to take a thousand touches before making that pass. It's absolutely ridiculous. But it's shocking, and it's not shocking. It's shocking when you see those numbers, but it's not shocking when you sit back and you're like, you know what? Considering the type of players we play, we prefer to play, consistently play, 90 minutes play, it makes kind of sense. It's sad, but it makes sense. But it doesn't top the, the next stat. Because the next stat I brought up a couple of weeks ago and somebody in the comments said, I don't get it. So I will read, I, maybe I explained it a bit poorly, you know, because it made sense for me. Uh, and I, I didn't address it properly. So I'm going to read out what it exactly means. And maybe... Uh, everybody will be like, okay, now I do get it. So, passes per defensive action, because I was looking at how good do we actually press? Like, are we a good pressing team? Uh, are we a team that... Um, are we a team that, yeah, we sit back, but like, how much do we sit back? Like, is it extreme? Well, it is extreme. So, this, that, and I'm going to read it out. Um, so it's given, like the number, forget about the number, but it's given by the number of passes a team allows their opponent to make before attempting a defensive action. And that defensive action could be a tackle, a foul, an interception, even a blocked pass. Um, in locations just outside of the pressing team's defensive third. So not sit back and do all those defensive actions in front of our own box, but out of that position. And we are... 17th in the league we are 17th in that league we give the ball to the opponents we know that 
but we do it to an extreme level. When I, when I talk about, yes, we take off the points, but the eye test, it doesn't sound sustainable. When you look at us, we don't dominate teams because we allow teams to just have the ball, to have their way. A lot of the times, too many times against very poor sides. And it's come back to bite us. It's come back to hunt us. And it will happen a couple of more times until the end of the season. You know, we are very poor. Like the mindset mindset of this team, and forget about quality because we have more quality than 16 at least teams in this league. So I don't want to hear that about quality. We have a lot more quality in terms of players compared to 75% of the league, even more in my opinion, but I'm being generous, 75% of the league. So don't come to me with quality because we have a lot more quality than Verona, than Udinese, than Empoli. We do. And even games we won, Monza, for example, we have more quality than than those teams, but it doesn't show. It shows just a moment, but it doesn't show over 90 minutes. And that's an issue because it's not good enough. Like, it's just not good enough. I cannot put it in different words. Again, this preview... It's not about Verona because Verona is who they are. This is about us. Are we going to show up? Are we going to show some sort of pride? Because I was watching the Udinese game and I was like, I said it a couple of minutes in. I'm like, we're not going to win this. Like there's no spirit. There's no fight. There's no hunger. It looked like the players all understood that it's done. Like it's just not going to happen. It looked frustrated. It looked all over the place. And that's the type of performance. If you have that against Verona, you're going to lose. You're going to lose. You need to show up and you need to be dominant from minute one until minute 90. There are no excuses anymore. You're playing again, a relegation side. You bottle it twice. Are you going to do it again? Basically, that's the preview. It's not about Verona. This one is just about Juve and Allegri, especially in this case. Will it happen? Who knows? Let's see. But I can go on and show Verona stats. They're all horrible. Like, (laughs) they are terrible compared to ours because one is bottom of the league, one is top of the league. But it doesn't really show on the pitch, and it probably will not show on the pitch again on Sunday. Maybe just by the result because we will make it. Uh, On Saturday, excuse me, tomorrow. But that's uh, the sad preview. I will do uh, just a general preview, you know, with Allegri's quotes and the the lineup later on live. So stay tuned for that as well. Uh, Like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification, and I will see you guys later tonight. Ciao.